What's up, buddies? Welcome to another Poor Man Road to Glory episode. Thank you for the support on last episode. I think the sub boxes were broken uh, throughout the middle of the week. I know a lot of other YouTubers are having issues. And I really don't think many people saw the Poor Man Road to Glory from last, I guess, three or four days ago. Considering there's half the views that those videos normally get, I will link episode 33 in the description for you guys. So I don't want to spoil anything for you of that episode if you haven't seen it. If you've got a spare 45 minutes, feel free to go watch it. Those videos are edited, by the way. A lot of people are writing in the comments saying, Nick, I, I, like, I really like your channel, but sometimes I wish, you know, your videos are edited and stuff like that. All, like, every single video on my channel is either insanely edited into a 10 or 18 minute video, or they're edited, the gameplay and stuff like that, into these very long, but what you guys seem to like, podcast type YouTube videos for the Poor Man Road to Glory of anywhere from 40 minutes to an hour. So, anyways, if you haven't figured it out yet, these videos are edited. Go watch the gameplay of, like, the anywhere from three to seven games that we play per episode on this series. Uh, th they're all edited. I show you guys the goals, maybe some really cheeky, interesting highlights, halftime stats and stuff like that, and that's it. So, don't come at me with these videos not being edited. They are, trust me. And these videos take about three hours to render, and then another three hours to upload. So, as much as you guys think this is a lazy series, and really this series was meant to be a lazy series, I was meant to just record this and release an hour and a half long video direct to YouTube, so I literally had no time spent editing, rendering, but, you know... Being the idiot that I am, I didn't like just releasing fully unedited hour and a half long to two hour long videos. Um, I wanted to try and keep you guys entertained throughout an entire 40 minute or hour long video. So I decided to start editing them and these videos, instead of being easy, an easy series to upload to YouTube, this is actually now my, um, I guess, more irritating series to upload because of how long it takes to get it to YouTube. Anyways. If you are enjoying the series and you do appreciate the work that you might not even see go into the series, smash the like button. I'd appreciate it. I know this video is late as well. You guys expect these videos on Sundays. This is out on a Monday. It's because I had a few videos pre-recorded uh, and ready to go for the weekend that I wanted to get out there. So, actually, you guys might get two Poor Man Road to Glories in a row unless I, in, unless I shift later on this week's... I guess, episode setup as well. So, we'll see. Let's get into the episode. All the comments are going to be long intro 2018, even though I want to fill you guys out on what's going on in the series. So, the plan for today, as I'm sure the title is given away already and the thumbnail is given away already, is the usual weekend foot draft that we're going to do. Uh, we've made some good profit off of our players. I cashed out on a, well, quite a few of my players. I gotta say this, uh, upon using Godin further, and inform Mustafi further on my main account. We we used them on this episode, or last episode, so hopefully at this point you've watched last episode. Uh, we used them in last episode for four games, five games, whatever it was, and I wasn't impressed with either one. I thought Mustafi was a bumblesome idiot, and Diego Godin was largely invincible. Like, I found Marcelo had to, because we had Marcelo at left back, I found Marcelo had to do a lot of, like, the catching up for the side that Diego Godin was on to, you know, I, I don't know, that's just me. So let me know in the comments down below if you've used either the 75th Inform Godin or the Inform Mustafi and you found them good, how are you using them? Because clearly I'm not using them correctly. I must be doing something wrong. So I decided to sell the back line out and I want to start putting together a team that I really think can give us a big push to win Division 1. So there's a lot of goals for the poor man Road to Glory. I think one of the ones that we talked about at the start of the series was somehow get ourselves to a million coins in the poor man road to glory we're quite a ways away by the end of fifa 16 we're quite a ways away from that i think if we cash out everything we may be at 375 maybe 400k depending on you know the the investments going up higuain's increased in price um uh the second informed hamshik has increased in price so we made a good investment in those two Godin, i made like 5,000 coins on actually i can show you guys that mustafi i think i made um Oh, wow. There we go. Mustafi, I think I made, like, 2,000 coins, maybe? Uh, on? I made I made 400 coins on DeMarcos. Yeah, so I ended up making, like, like maybe even 4,000, 5,000 coins on... Oh, I just cleared out Mustafi! What an idiot. Any... 
fuck's sakes, what an absolute tit. Anyways, Mustafi, at the end of the day, Mustafi we ended up selling for a few thousand coins profit. So we did okay, you know, we're back up above 200,000 coins in terms of what we can build here. So I'm actually thinking of being a little bit boring, either maybe picking up some Serie A players and maybe a legend somewhere if we can afford it, maybe a legend midfielder. I don't know, I was thinking of just trying to make this a good Serie A team and a team that maybe you guys can emulate without the informs to try and make a push to Division 1. So that's one of the other goals, I think, for this series that I want to achieve. Win Division 1, get ourselves to a million coins on a poor man road to glory. I think that's pretty incredible, where we basically only play anywhere from 8 to 10 games a week, invest a little bit here and there, no money spent at all on FIFA points or anything, to get ourselves a Division 1 title and a million coins, maybe a few team of the season by the end of it, I think those are some good goals uh, to set for this series. So that's what I want to do. Or maybe, who knows, see how many times we can win Division 1 on this series. I think those are uh, I think those are the goals to have. And maybe get like a really good pack pull from the foot draft. You know, whether that's a Benzema or, or whatever. I, th I think those are goals. So let me know in the comments if you guys agree with those goals. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to go right into the foot draft. Um... And then maybe at the end of the episode, we'll decide how we want to finish out this team. Or maybe I'll leave uh, the squad building for this team for next episode. I haven't decided yet. But let's jump into it. Let's risk that 15,000 coins here for the draft. So what are we getting here? Come on, give me... Oh, okay. You know what? Normally, I would go with something a little bit more defensive. This is a very strong formation. This is uh, a good formation. This is my favorite formation in FIFA. Even though I exclusively use... 4 3 2 1. I build all of, as you guys have probably noticed by now, I build all of my 4 3 2 1 teams like they are 4 2 3 1 teams, like they're this formation. So, this is technically my favorite formation in FIFA. I find it so balanced, so awesome for tiki taka build up play, a bit of skill moves and stuff like that. But honestly, the formation that I see the most in Division 1 on my main account, you guys know we've played endless amounts of seasons in Division 1 now. We finally won Division 1 as well. So if you don't watch my streams, I might upload something a little cheeky to YouTube about me winning Division 1. We'll see about that. But this formation pisses me off because it's always a, a, a formation that people use. Come on. It's always a formation that people use in Division 1. Oh! Yeah. When you get a chance to use a 99 Messi, as much as I'm actually interested in using a center back Alaba, just just has to happen. It just has to happen. Oh, baby girl. All right, I was really hoping for a blue. So that's awesome. 99 rated Leo. All right, now the question is, is do I want to do any of the strikers first? I wanna try and pull out as many blues as possible for this episode uh, while still having a good team. So I kinda wanna have defensive center mids, a good attacking mid, you know, strong strikers, and then just really good defensive um, backs. Doesn't have to be, you know, all all blues, but would be nice. Okay, so let's risk the left wing. Obviously, we're gonna go BBVA here. Oh, <laughs> no way! Oh my lord! Team of the year Ronaldo and team of the year Messi in the same foot draft as our first two picks. Oh, this is going to be good. In before Nick gets uh, beat in round one. Anyone want to take bets? Bets for me getting knocked out in round one? Very high probability of that happening. Okay. Um, all right. What the hell do we do here? Mm, do I keep going? Let's uh, let's see what we get here. Let's see what we get here. Just going to drop into the... soul. Oh. I'm going to pick Gaia. BBVA, you know what? If we get Marcelo, obviously I'll go with Marcelo. But I think that, well, Inform Casillas is probably a good play as well. Especially if I go with uh, Spanish center backs. These are the only two choices. I'm going to go with Gaia for the time being. Okay. I just I just want to minimize the chance. You know, I want to, I want to, basically I want to get rid of that silver choice. And I want to get rid of that like really shitty gold, like non-rare 75 rated choice that always pops up. And I feel like if I go to striker... It's going to do that right away. And I want to see if I can get that 95 Suarez. Hey! Good morning! Good morning. How's it going? How you doing? How are you doing, Bubba? That was a nice surprise for the video. Did you sleep good? You slept until what time? Oh my word! You slept like 12 hours. You feel good? Yeah? Did you just want to give me a good morning hug? Oh, go, go wake up, Mama. I'm doing the foot draft. 
She's already awake. I'm doing the foot drop, but for a video. I'm doing the foot drop before a video. You want to do a video with me? Yeah. Oh, this has turned into the Ethan draft? Me, I just wake up so quick when she was sleeping so She just woke up? Okay, you know what? <laughs> I don't want to be. Oh, you're all sick too and all cute. Okay, all right, all right. You know what, Ethan? Winning games isn't the end of the world, even though this is the poor man road to glory. So we want to try and win. So you can, you can help me pick the team, but is it okay if daddy plays? So you pick and build the team and then you can go have breakfast with mama? Yeah. Okay, all right. Get over here, buddy. Okay. All right. So this will be this will be an even bigger challenge. We started good. Okay. So take the controller. From like yesterday, from my draft. Yeah. Well, you the last time you did a really good draft. Uh. So okay. So remember, you press A. Hold on. Yeah. Press A. Let's see. So we want a Spanish. We want a Spanish influence team. Okay. Oh. Okay. So with this team, you can kind of pick what, whatever you want. I, I'm going to give you my advice, but you pick whoever you want, okay? So if I was you, I would pick this guy, Santi Cazorla. But you pick whoever you like for this one, because this one doesn't really affect too much. So if there's someone you like, you can pick whoever you want. Who are you thinking? We got to do this a little bit quicker, because this video could end up being like an hour long, two hours long. Are you going to go with Santi Cazorla? Okay, good choice, good choice. Okay, so you pick anywhere in the team that's kind of open. What are you thinking? This one? Okay. Uh, you gotta, oh, 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 you gotta press, you gotta press, hold on, you gotta press, you gotta press the A button, that one, yeah, the green one. There you go. Let's see. Okay, so you got this one out of the way, Ethan, that's okay. Okay, you can pick whoever you want here, too. You can pick whatever you want here, too. What are you thinking? What are you thinking? Rigoni, Jodzic, Ferry. Okay, okay. All right, let's scroll to one more one more of the open ones, buddy. You do it. I'm not doing anything. You got to scroll to one of the ones that says like FUT16 and stuff. Yeah, you got to move, move. There you go. All right, go for it. You got to do this fast though, Bubba. We got to go, got to go quick. You're going goalkeeper, okay. Okay, so I'll give you my advice again, but you pick with who you want, okay? So normally I would go with this guy, Kemeni, because he fits in the same league that Ronaldo and Messi are in. And we're trying to build a team with Ronaldo and Messi. But you pick whoever. If you think someone looks cooler, you go with whoever. You want him? No, I like this. I like this. Okay. Press that A button. All right. All right. Okay. So you got to go up to, again, one of the open ones. Right there. Yeah. Sure. Let's see what you got here. Come on. Get us a blue, Ethan. We want blues. Okay. Do you want me to tell you what I would go with? Or do you want to pick one on your own? What do you want? I know what you would go with. What one would I go with? Okay, you tell me. You can even point at the screen. Which one do you think I would go with? This one. Caceres? He's a good center back. He's a good center back. You go for it. If you think that's if you think that's what I'm gonna go with, Ethan, you go for it, buddy. I I'll see what I can do with this team. Go with. Which one? This guy. Okay. All right, sounds good. Okay, so go yeah, go up to. You want to try the striker? If you get a Suarez, Ethan, we have to go with it. So let's see. Can you get me a Suarez, Ethan? Pack me a Suarez. Oh my. Um, let me just have a look here. I don't think any of these matter too much. Okay, so whoever you like, you pick, Bubba. Whoever you like, you pick. This guy's got really cool hair, hey? Zardes? Got like cool blonde hair. This guy's got this guy's got a lot of pace. Um, hey. this guy's good at shooting. This guy can beat people up because he's really strong. Yeah. You wanna go you wanna go with the guy that can beat people up? Okay. Oliveira? Oliveira? Okay, so you press A. Go for it, Bubba. He should be on our team. He should be on our team. And he links up with Ronaldo. Didn't even notice that. So we got Ronaldo on 8, Kem. Lord help me. Um, okay, so go down to the center mid. Yeah, there you go. And I'm going to adjust the team. When Ethan's done and he goes upstairs, I'll adjust the team and try and get the best chemistry out of the setup. We'll see. We'll see how we do. Okay, so prick that one. No, 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 no. That's okay. So you press the A button. There you go. Oopsie. Okay. I'm gonna give you my I'm gonna give you my advice again, okay? Aww. You're so polite too. You cough into your uh, your arm to not spread germs. Okay, so I would say Sergi Roberto is who I would go with because he's super super good and he almost looks like you actually. Look, he's got blonde hair. He's really <coughs> he's really good. What are you thinking? We're doing this live, boys. This part I'm not gonna edit out. So okay, you want to go for him? Okay. I like it, Ethan. Good team! Um, okay, so go with the center backs. Oh, Ethan, you did a dab. Didn't even realize you did the dab. Okay. 
Uh, so again, you can pick whoever you think looks cool or whoever you think I like out of this setup. What do you What do you think I, I would like the most? There's no Seria even to link with. Um, uh, who do you think? This guy would look like you. This guy looks like me. He's so old with gray hair. Okay, I guess he kind of does look like me. Go for it, Perrin. Kind of looks like you. Heartbreak City. Actually, okay, so hold his. Yeah, he does look like me. I like it. So if you press A. Press A, yeah, that one, and then press, uh, go over this guy, hover over him, this one here, yeah, and press A. Look at that, so you actually got a good connection between him, so that's good. Okay, so now you get to pick the right back or the left back, whoever you want. That guy looks like you. He does look like me. <laughs> I should start using, like, hair club for men or whatever to have just no more gray hairs. All right, Perrin is the new Nick 28T, oh lord. Okay, I get, wow, they really don't want to hook us up with anything awesome here, Ethan. Um, so what do we have? We have Perrin and we have, okay, so poor guy, buddy. You okay? Yeah. Um, again, Ethan, you can basically go with whoever you want because none of these guys work uh, for us. You can pick whoever you think looks awesome. <coughs> Bubba, you should be in bed asleep, resting, you know, having some cough medicine instead of helping me do work. You're helping me work because you're such a nice guy, hey? Okay, pick who I you want, Bob. I think that guy because he has a blue shirt and okay. you said blue. He has a blue shirt, so I said, okay, yeah, I wanted blue, right? We wanted blue cards. Sure, that works for me. That works for me. Where is she? Okay, he's right there. See? Coleman. He kind of probably looks like you as when you grow up. Okay, go over, to, go over there. I think I've got Ethan in my team. Look, Ethan and Daddy are in the team. Ethan is Sergi Roberto. You look like him, and I look like Perrin. So that means I can't even take him out of the team. Okay, we got to keep Perrin in the setup. Let's go, buddy. Get me Marcelo. Get me Marcelo. Get me Marcelo. Come on, Bubba. Marshmallow. Marshmallow. His name is Marcelo, but that's okay. Marshmallow. Okay, so um, I'll give you my advice. Actually, you know what? You can't really do too wrong here. So I would go with either Sidibe. Or Maxwell, who's like Zlatan Ibrahimovic's best friend, or Kurzawa. So you can go with who, these three if you want, or you can go with the other guys. But if it was me, I would go with him, or him, or him. But you pick whatever you want. I'm just, I'm just giving you friendly advice. Who would you, <laughs> other than hacking up a lung, who would you go with? Hmm. Um. The guy that's doing the fist pump. Um. Do you still have um that guy with? This guy? Um, spiky hair with Gulam? Kind of funny. Yeah, I do still have him. You, if you want to go with him again, you can. You're welcome to. This is this is your drop. If you want to pick whatever you want, you go. Maybe we can make some twins of him. You're gonna make some twins of Gulam? Sure, Bob. You go for it. We can still, I think, make that work. Maybe. You going with Maxwell? Okay, whatever works with you, Bob. Whatever works. The Frenchman works too. If you like this guy more, I know you pointed at him first. If you like him, you can go with it. You want him? Look, holy moly, look at all those connections. He links up with daddy too. Nice one. Good job. Okay, so you want to scroll scroll down. You can, do the, you can do the subs. You can do the subs and then I think mama's calling you for breakfast. But you can still do the subs. You can do these subs if you want. You can pack me some good subs. Come on, buddy. Get me some blues, Ethan. Ooh, that's really good, buddy. <laughs> that is really, really good. Like, really, really good. Okay, I'll give you my advice again, but you can pick with you can pick whoever you want, and I'll try and make it work. Okay? You want me to give you advice, or do you want to just pick? Advice. Advice. Okay. So Gareth Bale plays on the same team as Ronaldo, and we can kind of work him into our team, kind of. Neymar as well plays with Messi. So Neymar or Bale would work. And also the second informed Dybala is a new card and he kind of looks like you as well. So those three are the ones that I would go with. I wouldn't go with any of these ones because they're the regular gold. These are at least special cards, but you, you pick whoever you want. Ethan doing the dabs. Gareth Bale, okay. Daddy will try and make that work. I like it. So we can maybe put Gareth Bale at striker. You want to make him in the team? Okay, so you press Bale's number, press A. Yeah, okay, so scroll up to the top. Scroll up to that silver guy. All the way up. Yeah, and press A again. Now you put him in the team. Look how good you are. I don't think he looks that impressed. I don't know if it's because you, you're still a little under the weather. You're so cute. Okay, okay, go down to your uh, go down to your subs. Yay. Down, 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 down. We gotta go down. Oh, you're down. Yeah, 
I'm gonna dab with you, buddy. Okay, so you go over here. Go to sub over. Yeah, okay, so now pick this one. This is actually a pretty darn good team, Ethan. Um, hmm, okay. So I would say, you know what, Ethan? You you pick what you want. You pick what you um, think. Do you I want tips? I would say I would look at, I would pick that guy who kind of looks like Batman. That guy does look like Batman and he's got a Batman crest, right? Look yeah. at the Batman. Okay, let's go with the guy that looks like Batman. You're, I love your logic, bub. That is so good. Okay, so we can maybe try and fit him into the team. I like it. I like it a lot, Bubba. <coughs> Aw, poor guy. Okay, pick another one, dude. You can, you can get out of here. I feel bad. I feel bad. All right, go for it. Maybe since you know some good guys on this thing, some good yeah. guy ones, I'll just do one more. Okay, you can do four more before you go upstairs if you want. Holy moly, that is a good team, Ethan. Okay, do you want me to give you the advice again or do you, yes. do you want it on your own? Okay, so this guy plays for one of daddy's favorite teams, James Rodriguez, and he fits with the other team that you built. But... If you want to pick someone else, you can. Yeah! Good job, Ethan! What a good pull! Okay. Do you want to put him in the team or you want to leave him on the bench for now? Uh, put him in. Put him in the team? Okay, so you press A. Dad influence. Okay, you scroll up. Scroll up. Yeah, and then you go, you want to change him for here. So you scroll down. One more. One down. Yeah, right. No, more left to the left. Yes, so you want to replace him for him. And look at how good the team becomes. Yeah, you press A then. And now he's in our team, and he's so good! Ethan, this team is actually awesome. You Do you not want to do any more? No? You know what, Baba? Do you want to say bye, everyone? Thank you, Ethan, for making me an awesome team. Bye, everyone. We shall, uh... Here, you do You do your sign-out. Do your Ethan 28T sign-out, or Ethan TDM sign-out. Do it. Go for it. Go. P you do, like, a peace out, or catch you on the flips, or whatever you do. Catch you on the flip side! <laughs> All right, I love you, buddy. Want me to close the door? Yeah. All right, bye, Ethan TDM. See you later. Thank you for stopping by the show. Love you. That's okay. You did okay. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. Well, there we go. We got a cameo from Ethan, man. We got a freaking cameo from Ethan. All right. Now, I kind of want to keep the bones of what Ethan put together in this team. I, I would feel bad changing out this team entirely. Like, I kind of want to just keep the bones of the setup here. I think I might. I think I actually might. Okay. Gareth Bale at striker, I think, is a good play as well. All right. Let's see. Let's see if we can maybe get, like, you know, a Ramos, maybe, or, or something. You know what I mean? Like, basically, BBVA, right center back and right back. And then we'll be good to go. We'll be good to go. Come on, EA. Okay. Oh. What is this team? Seriously, what is this team even? What even is this even? Oh my lord, okay. All right, give me that Ramos now, EA. Okay, it's not a Ramos. Well, we got Demarcus. I think I'm gonna go with BBVA, just, yeah, Demarcus is a good card. And he's pretty tall, right? So if I needed to, I could do this. If I needed to, I could do this. Now it's not the greatest, but it's up to 93 cam already. Okay. And maybe look out for another, um, like maybe like a, a Blaze Matweedy or something like that. Someone may, or like a Gonalon would go really well there, I think. Because I, I want to, I want to, I want to keep Perrin. Even though I find Perrin awful, the fact that Ethan said I look like him now, oh God. Oh God, doesn't Perrin look so old? What even, even is going on even? Okay, um, any League, uh, the BBVA? We got Ruben, but this guy, wow. This guy doesn't look like he'll go into our team. All right, so we're still aiming for maybe a goalkeeper, a center back, and maybe like a league uh, center mid, or honestly, like it's an Inzanzi would be perfect because he'd link up with Ronaldo and James, and he would link up with the um with the with the defenders. So someone like Inzanzi would be pretty dope. Two, come on EA, come on EA. Okay, well, Beauvue has been transferred into the BBVA, which. Doesn't really matter. It doesn't help me out too much. Um, Abate's awesome, but he doesn't really help me out either. Boltiak doesn't really work. Uh, so there's no one really in this in this setup that's going to help me out. So let's just pick Zaka. Come on, EA. Come on, EA. Holy Lord. What the? Wow, dude. 
Did we seriously just get in a FUT draft? 98 team of the year Ronaldo, 99 team of the year Messi, 97 team of the year Neymar. How do I fit this? How do I how do I do this? Bale might have to be a super sub at this point. I can't I mean I can't. I can't not, right? This would be rude to not build a team like this. It would just be it would be just not nice. It would just be unfair. How is this common in the foot draft to get like that many insane blues? Look at that! I got four blues and three of the best of the best. Is it common? I I don't know. I'm reacting like oh my. I'm re yes. Blaze between is exactly who we wanted. Wow, man. This draft. Thanks. Let's be real. In huge part to Ethan. I'm gonna have to get my uh, my graphics designer Tice to put Ethan on the thumbnail because he really did build us this team. Oh my word, man. Unreal. 87 rated. The chem isn't the greatest just yet. You know what would have been dope is if we did go with Maxwell. This the chem No, I don't think the chem would have gone up because you know what? Neymar would have still been off chem. Unreal. Okay. Still not bad though. Really, instead of a second informed Griezmann, just to add to a little, little bit of cheekiness. Um Sergio Roberto on that side, so I don't really need him. I don't really need anyone here, do I? I might, have, I might as well just go uh, Griezmann. I'm not, you know what I mean? I could put him in for Ronaldo and sub Ronaldo on, but I just want Ronaldo in the starting 11. I want my opponent to see that team. So I'm going to go with the highest rated, Sanchez. This is not going to be easy to get this team on full cam. I don't think we're going to be able to achieve it, but we can try. And none of these guys help us out in any way. Um, Mkhitaryan's a pretty, Mkhitaryan's a pretty dope center mid as well. I mean, he starts as a center mid, right? So... Mm. Let's go with Mikatarian here. Okay. All right. So, yeah, it's not. I don't even. I don't even think there's any substitutions I'm really gonna make. We're basically keeping what Ethan put together for the most part. Bale becomes a super sub. That's about it. Um, 88 rated. That's that's so sick, man. Look at that. Full 88 rated squad. Unreal. Um. All right. Okay. I don't. Unless I'm missing something here, I, I which I don't think I am. I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna roll with this. I think we're gonna go with this setup. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yes, Ethan. It looks really good, right? Tell Mama. You could go tell her. It looks really, really good. You did a great job, buddy. He just wanted to. <laughs> he just wanted to come in here and tell us that the team looks really good. Okay, um, do, would I even use Zaka? What do you guys think? I, am I missing something here? Put Ruben in goal just for the chemistry and, see if I put Ruben in goal, yeah, we get 95 chem. And do we just bring on Kemeni then? Would this drop the rating if I, like, if I took out Coleman? No, it's still 88. You know what? So we could do that. We could do that. That's not bad. I really wish we got a, um, really wish we got a actual center back. And I guess I did. I did get Ramos, but I think I'm happy I went with Alves. This is a very attacking team, so I'm going to just have to score a hell of a lot of goals and not concede. Okay, so who needs the chem? Um, BBVA? No, there is no BBVA manager. I keep forgetting that. So, Brazil? Uh, Portugal? Spain? Really? Those are, those, those are the ones that we really, really need right now. Um, okay. And then the question is, is who... That takes me up to 96. That takes me up to 96. Well, wow. Thanks for all four. Like, how unoriginal is that? Premier League, Premier League, Liga de Brazil, Liga Adelante. I don't know why do why do they not? I like Roberto Martinez, honestly. So do we give it to Demarcus? What do you guys think? That takes me up to just 96 chem. Or do we give it to Neymar? I feel like defensively, that extra chem might help, yeah? What do you guys think? I think, I think... Yeah, we could go with Javi, we could go with Javi Fuego at center back as well. But I'm just thinking the extra pace of DeMarcus could be helpful. Um, instead of just having a super slow center back. Okay, I think I'm going to go with Roberto Martinez. I think it's better to go with a defender. I know you got, a lot of people are going to say Neymar. To just get Neymar on that eight chemistry, but hmm, 
I'm thinking my center back would need more help than a 97 rated Neymar from seven. You know? Mm. I think I'm gonna go. I think I'm gonna go with Martinez. I know that took me way too long to decide. I think I'm gonna go with Martinez there. What a team, man. What a fucking team. So 184 rated once you get 88 rated team. 184 rated once you get rid of uh or once you calculate in the shit chem. Um, and I could have got it on full chem. Like, I mean, let's let's have a look. Let's have a little looky loo here, right? Just taking out Ronaldo, for example. Um, taking out Ronaldo for what's his face? Uh, Oliveira. Oh, actually, brings the chem down. Oh yeah, because James Rodriguez would lose chem then. Okay, so never mind. Does this change anything at all? So Demarcus has better pace. Better passing, better dribbling, almost almost the same physical and slightly worse defending. So Fuego only has better defending, and and Fuego is 5'11", medium high work rates, does have better work rates, and Demarcus is 5'11". I think Demarcus will be a pretty decent center back. So that's where we're going with, boys. 30 minutes into the video, let's get into our first game. Let's hope I don't get knocked out round one. I gotta make Ethan proud, man. <laughs> Full chem team, first game of the foot draft, not bad. We're both using Ronaldo at striker. Five bucks says his Ronaldo does better than mine. Oh God, I played a warm up game in divisions. I didn't record it to show you guys or anything. Good thing I didn't because I know I said I'm not gonna get pissed off at FIFA. First thing I did that first game was yell and scream all game long. I lost 2-1. In Division 3, we're now 0-0-2 in Division 3. And I could, and his goalkeeper, of course, as always, my opponent's goalkeeper got um, man of the match. I probably should have won that game. 3-2, something like that. There we go. Is this a thing? It is. <gasps> oh! This fucking game! It just fucking flies off of Messi's head? Like I shot it at Messi's head instead of crossed it to him? No. No. No, don't let it be his first shot on net! It's his first shot on net. Oh, foot draft. Honestly, I don't miss you at all. I hate the foot draft so much. I love the squad building aspect of the foot draft, but the fact that the gameplay of the foot draft is so much different and more aids than divisions or tournaments makes no sense to me I, I don't get it i do not understand why the foot draft has to be so much different and like just bounces and dumb shit like games at least in divisions as angry as i want to get for the most part if i dominate a game i will win it in in divisions a lot of the times i'll lose divisions um look at this look at that you see what i mean a lot of the times i'll lose in divisions just because i couldn't put away my chances or i, I like i just wasn't good enough or my opponent was better um, that last game didn't really feel like it, although, you know, to make myself sound like a hypocrite, the last game I just played in Divisions, um, today, oh my god, Leo Messi! That last game didn't feel like it at all, but for the most part, Divisions feels pretty decent, and like, if you, if you can manage a bit of the BS, you're good. Like, you'll do alright. <sighs> oh, make, oh my god, that deflection, right? Did I just shoot that? did didn't i okay that could work in my advantage just kidding no it won't calm down nick calm down it's, too, it's still far too early to get completely pissed off there's so much time doesn't matter that i've had nine shots my opponents had two doesn't matter just got these deflections man these fucking deflections uh like and the best part is i i, I like i actually thought this guy's team oh that's a nice cut is boys Woo! i actually thought this guy's team being 4-3-3 that i would have a lot of room with messi and neymar out wide but i guess when you think about it the two center backs are literally perfectly in line with with marking um neymar and messi and then at the same time Carlo plienka and alex vidal are playing like left wing backs and right wing backs better than any left wing and right back i've ever seen before so this is frustrating. I know I always sound like a whiny little bitch, especially when I play the draft, but my god. Why does Messi all oh, like he just feels like he's stuck in fucking mud? You do a skill or like a little dribble with Leo and he doesn't fucking move. He just stays fucking frozen. Ah! 
Why? I used Messi in Ultimate Team. I used Team of the Year Messi in Ultimate Team. He's on full cam in this game as well. Why does he feel so bad? Why in the FUT draft do players like Messi, at least, oh my god, at least on my team, feel so shit? It doesn't make any sense, dude. Like, I know Messi feels incredible in normal FIFA. Oh, this is just the worst. Oh my god, the bounces. Boys, we're going out. I'm telling you right now, we're fucking going out. Whether whether the cheese happens uh, in, in extra time, or, or maybe the cheese will happen for me. Oh, hello. No worries, man. No worries. I just, honestly... Oh! There we go. Leo's out of gas, too, so I might have to make... Oh, okay! Leo! Yes! Oh my god, yes! There it is, Leo! That's the Division 1 Team of the Year Leo that we all know and love. Oh my god, maybe it's just the connection. Maybe in the draft, the connection is just so bad and it makes all the like all the players feel terrible. But that bit of work, just a simple cut-in, took my space, I knew he was going to panic. That's messy 99% of the time in Division 1 when I use him. And look at that, look at that AIDS pass from Mkhitaryan, dude. See? See that little pass there that just would make sh it made like the game almost made sure that it wouldn't get to Ronaldo. Even though it's pretty simple. Here we go, Neymar. Get that pass off, Neymar. Oh, boys! Oh my god! Freaking round one! Now, again, I've said this before. I'm not entirely sure if just because I'm in round one, my opponents are in round one. We haven't had full confirmation from the Ultimate Team devs. Uh, all the guys I talk to, but as far as I know, the FUT draft isn't seeded. So sometimes you'll be in the FUT draft final and you'll come up against some noob in round one. Sometimes you'll be in round one and come up against someone that could be in the final. So I'm not entirely sure if that, that is accurate or not, but this may be round one, but this game with the lag and like how dumb my players have been playing has really felt like a final. Oh, God help us. We ended up getting a victory here. So Cristiano Ronaldo gets man of the match. Is Kaylor Navas. There you go. 12 saves, man. What did my Ruben make? Two saves. Let's get into the second round. Oh, my God. That's an even that's an even nicer looking team than mine, isn't it? Holy moly. 87 rated, full chem. And he's got everyone on. Oh, wow. Everyone on point two. Ronaldo, Messi, Benzema. Okay. Oh. Dude, why, man? Fucking shit. Oh, that worked out. That really worked out. Oh, that really worked out, dude. Oh, my lord. Forcing the ball, Nick. Forcing the ball. Uh-oh, this is a problem. Oh, this is a really big problem. Is he going to cut in? I would assume. He's going to cut back out wide. Yeah, I knew it. Oh, my god. Again, first shot on net. Oh. Yes! oh my god! Doesn't Hamas have a four-star weak foot? Oh, I, I mean, I don't know if the angle was there for me to lay it off to Neymar. I did see Neymar running in late. I just don't know if I didn't. I don't know if I had the like an ac an actual option um, to pass it to Neymar there. Damn, man. No! Oh my god, Leo Messi's 99 heading accuracy came through there. Team of the year, check it out. Whether you want to check it out on Futbin or Futhead or Futwiz. Oh, we got a little bit of cheese. Although I totally meant to do that, guys. I swear to god. I mean, I did. I meant to try and head it towards the net. I didn't think it would freaking go in, though. Yes! Boys! We got this. I had to go silent there. That was a great little play. Great bit of build up. 3-1. I think we got this. I think we got this. Did I did I seriously do the uh, I usually reserve that only for my streams. Here we go. Oh my god. What a play. What a play! 4-1, boys! Done and dusted. Done and dusted. Causing the rage as well. We got this. Going into round three. All right. So hopefully I only showed you guys the goals. I think I was planning on showing you guys a whole bunch of rage in the first half because I was just getting so irritated. But here we go. We've got five goals scored. So 
We'll just show you the goals. What a, what a freaking belter. Like I said, round three, boys. Cristiano Ronaldo, I think, got his second man of the match in a row. Hat trick. James getting assists. Messi scoring. Uh, Neymar, I really got to work into the game, but let's do it. All right, round three. What do we got here? Holy mer... Wow. Okay, big dog teams coming up endlessly here. That is actually really impressive. He's got almost a full inform team. Bale, how did you, what, 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 I, I'm sorry. How did you, what just happened? Can someone fill me in on what just happened there? Oh God, some cheese is happening, that's what. Never mind. Dude, Bale, stop bumbling through all my tackles. That's, that's tackle number three, number. Number three that he's bumbled through. Eight. <laughs> Mommy! That's a good pass. Oh, God! I had to sweat it. Yo, man, I really should edit out my screen there. I really should. You guys are going to be so angry at me if I keep that in the video. So, fingers crossed. Either I edit it out or I mute myself maybe while I'm losing my mind. I just, I can't make sense of why the foot draft is so glitchy. Anyways, 1-1. One, one. Let's pretend that didn't happen. Woo, the Rabona! I, I held LT. Honestly, I held LT because I wanted Neymar to slide and scoop it in the net. He did another Rabona goal! Yeah! I didn't, I didn't even notice it was a Rabona. Again, I didn't pay attention to it. Um, all right. Look at that. Oh, God, it's happening. It's happening! Cheese, 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 man. Brie cheese, fucking... Oh, wow. He's gonna sweat it, too. Honestly, honestly, I just... A CBA. CBA. CBA with this game mode. CBA with this game mode, man! Oh my god, my fucking brain. No, I don't. Well, am I gonna get... What the fuck? What did Perrin just do? <laughs> I love FIFA. I love FIFA. Hey, hey, hey. Especially when it fists me in the butt. I love FIFA. I love FIFA. Especially when you're bad. And still beat me. 3-1 in the 34th minute. I don't know if that song goes with the tune. Oh, my sweet lord. Oh, my sweet. See, the only reason he said... The old... Ronaldo. Why are you stuck in my pen? That's so stupid. Ronaldo honestly feels like he's wearing cement shoes and a parachute right now. It feels like that's exact. like he just- Look at Diego Godin! Right there, I was holding full sprint with Ronaldo, and Diego Godin ran past him to get in front of him. Now, it worked out to give me a pen, but... Oh god, oh god, oh god, look at this kid- Oh god, look at the lag! Okay, okay. Shut up, you Canadian prick! It's 3-2- It's not 3-2. Oh yeah, wow. Never mind. Uh, I forgot that I had conceded another goal. Uh, I was I was gonna be a lot happier until I realized that it's actually four two, not three two. Why? Oh my god! Ish! Of course. Woo! Of course, Casillas makes a save. Why wouldn't he? Right? Why wouldn't he? Fuck you, Casillas. Who oh, please? Yes! Eat my bumhole, Saint Eaker! You are a saint, but you're a piece of shit in this game. Man of the match easily, even though he's conceded three goals here. Easily man of the match. Alright! 4-3. This little whiny turd that is a Canadian bearded 30-year-old is getting there, boys. Oh no, this is a problem. It will not let... Oh, this game, dude. This game.
That's a foul. Come on! Yes! What is this game? What actually is this? It's 5-4 right now? Like, what? It just... Oh, uh, no call there. Thank God. I was about to rage because the ref wasn't going to give me a foul there. He didn't even, like, hold up the, like, wave play on either. Didn't even consider that a foul. But anyways, 5-4. This is the most ridiculous game I've played in weeks and weeks and weeks. Oh my god. 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 Composure. Why? Why? Yes! Yes! That little cut-in, I want to I want to see that right now. That little cut-in, I was trying to do the, like, you know, the Burba spin where it sends you the other way. It just didn't register. But I got lucky enough where me just stopping on the ball sent his Danny Alves the wrong way. 5-5. Five, five, 75th minute. This is nuts, dude. This video is going to be so long. Purely because... Like, right there. I was trying to do a Burba spin right there. Anyways... I'll take it. 5-5. Five, five. No, Mikatar. I mean, you guys all... I know you guys know. I know you know that I know that you know what I was trying to do there. Messi? 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 Ronaldo? Anybody? No? No? No pass? Gonna work there? Oh, God. Side tackle! Oh, this is bad. Don't panic. Don't panic. Don't, don't, don't overcommit. He's gonna do a crazy lob here or sweat it. Oh, no. Yes, Demarcus. Well done, dude. Well done. Is that... Is that... Okay, we're going into extra time, boys. Right there. Look at those stats, man. Look at those stats. So, 5-5. Five, five, taking it to extra time. I feel so confident in how I'm playing, but the game just doesn't feel like it wants me to get the final goal. Okay. Here we go. Oh, my God. Take a nice touch, Messi. That's the fucking shittest touch, Leo. Oh, this fucking game! Just will not, it will not let me get a shot off. Like, that's a, that's a nice little shot. Okay, here it is. Here it is! <laughs> yes! It will let me get a shot off. Oh, baby Jesus, it will let me get a shot off. R.I.P. your ears, man. I ain't even editing down the gameplay. I am not doing it at all. Somehow he got away with that. Please, 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 please just win this, Kurzawa. Kurzawa. Oh, my lord, Perrin. Come on, buddy. Fuck up, Ronaldo. Fuck up, Ronaldo, Perrin. Slide that goal! Yes! Ethan! Oh, God, I said the F word. I'm sorry, dude. If you are watching this, I'm the worst. Oh, Perrin, you king. No, no, no. You don't deserve this. Mikatarian! Mikatarian! <gasps> Oh, I feel really... Ethan, I hope you're not watching this, honestly. But if you are, Daddy is saying bad words, first of all, is so you can punch me in the head when I get upstairs. Second of all, though, your choice. Perrin, the guy that looks like me, is definitely the man of the match. We're going into the final. Anyone notice how my team really started turning it on when I did the, uh, the switch around again? Oh, 8-5! 8-5! Honestly, though, the second I switched everything around, brought Mkhitaryan on, put Bale at left center mid, swapped it around, put Dani Alves up the field, everything turned around. To think that I was losing 4-1, and I've, I've now made it 8-5 in our favor. This is probably the craziest game I've played in an insanely long time, but we're going into the cup final or the draft final. Can we all just take a minute to realize that in one game of FIFA that takes about 15 minutes, there were 13 goals scored. 4-1 down to an 8-5 victory. Ronaldo with five goals. Me wow, Messi with one assist out of all of that. But there you go, boys. The team, that's the setup I should just switch to right when we start playing. Cup final time, boys. Okay, interesting, interesting setup. 95 cam, pretty strong team. Ronaldo and Rooney up front together. It's a little worrisome. I'm actually worried more also about, well, also worried about Neymar and Zerdan Shakiri cutting in and getting shots against my Ruben or whatever his name, my goalkeeper. He's pretty weak. What a ball! What a fucking ball! Oh my lord, Leo Messi! Four-star weak foot. That's what I'm talking about. Leo Messi 
Ronaldo celebrating together. Honestly, man, I just went for the Hail Mary there. I'm like, you know what? I see Ronaldo making that run. Wow. Is that a little bit lucky and maybe even a little bit cheesy? Yeah, probably. But you know what? I'll take it, especially in a final. All right, and then we'll use that super sub Mkhitaryan uh, at halftime for, for Rodriguez. Was that a through ball? No, that was a uh, double tap cross. That's it. Double tap cross. So it's like a lower, harder cross. Honestly, I didn't know if Messi was going to make it, but good God, did he ever. Oh, shit. I forgot, I, I forgot he was in my own end. Oh, wow. If he fucking makes this 1-1... One, one, Honestly, man, I just, why can you, oh, just, whatever. I'm not going to, I'm, I am complaining right here, aren't I? I'm complaining right now. Score goal, milliseconds later, Waltz is up, look at that, within two in-game minutes, which is about 10 seconds. Oh, fucking panic slide tackle too. Bro, where's the bail movement, man? Where is the bail movement, for the love of God? I just, I just, honestly. Oh. I don't get it. I don't get it. Trying to switch to my center back. It wouldn't let me do it. All of my players just back off of Neymar completely. Good goal. Good goal. But, here we go. Alright. Gotta remember, man. I was down 4-1 the last game. So, down one goal. Shouldn't do anything. Here we go. Try and do to him what he did to me. Seems like it's happening. It's happening! You know what? You gotta do that every time. The kickoff boost is so shit that just things fall your way. And you, as long as you can dodge one or two tackles, you know you're gonna be in on net and you just hope to God your player can get it on target because it's gonna go in exactly like it happened there, boys. 2-2. Two, two. Like, just, just, just... I, all I did was weave. That's it. I didn't even have to do much. 2-2. Two, two. Could have called that, man. FIFA is so scripted, man. I'll take it. And, I'm, and, and I know people are going to hate on me saying, oh, God. Oh, God. He's going to score right away as well. Definitely. He's going to. Holy shit. Great defending, man. Otherwise, he would have. Just kidding. Still not over yet. Still not over yet, man. This boost. Don't be a pen, you stupid fucking game. Oh, what a... What a play. PK. Oh my god. Oh my god, the pressure. Oh. Hope for the best. Which is... Seems like the perfect idea. Seems like the per... Did Ruli just make that save? Oh, that was the chance, wasn't it? That was 1000%. How the fuck... How do you even make that reaction save, dude? I could have Team of the Year Neuer and he wouldn't make that reaction save. That's a great ball, though. Okay, the cheese is real. The cheese is real. Do, 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 do. It's a goal. Easy goal. What a goal. Honestly, man. Such shit. Such shit. I don't know if I should edit it in or not, but like milliseconds ago. Milliseconds ago, his keeper came up with a huge save, and then I hit the crossbar off the corner. Hits me on the counter, gets the goal. What the fuck is that? Okay, don't worry, guys. Don't worry. Perfectly defended by his right back. That's got to be the end, man. I honestly, at this point, I think I just showed you guys the uh, the goals, but I've hit the post, I think. Oh, my God. Uh, I think once or twice, his Ruli has genuinely made, like, complete stonewall saves when I'm in on net, which 99% of the time would be a goal. I think he's done that about three or four times. So, that's the end, boys. It has to be. It's just... It just... It didn't want me to win it. Honestly, it, it just did not want me to get that final win. So, what are you going to do? What are you going to do, man? We made it to the final. Lost in the final. 3-2. I think put up a pretty damn good fight. So, I can't be too upset with it. His Gomez got a man of the match. That is nuts, man. That is nuts. So, did he make... No, he didn't make a sub either. Though, those... Genuinely, those four saves were the game changers. I don't know. What did my keeper make? six saves as well so what are you gonna do man i can't be too too ragey about it it is what it is at the end of the day hopefully you still enjoyed the video we made a really good push i think the best part of the video was obviously when ethan um uh joined up 
and helped us build the team. So there are the stats there for you guys as well. So looking at that, I mean, I guess I can not feel as cheated, even though the chances, all I'm going to say is the chances that I had were all premium quality chances. All five shots I had on target, I feel like I should have scored, but his keeper just came up massive. So is what it is. Let's see what we get as the final packs. There's a lot of great players in packs right now. What is that? The the 95 Suarez, Aguero, Benzema. So if we can get something nice, we still made it to the final? What? A, go a gold player pack and a premium gold players pack. A player pack with one rare for, for fucking getting to the final? And then uh, genuinely the worst 25k pack you can get? That is the prize? You know what, man? Honestly, 99% of the time, it is not worth it. It is just not worth it to play the FUD draft. Like, we're not we're not gonna make our we're not gonna make anywhere near our money back. We just aren't. Absolutely no chance that we're making our money back here. So there's 3,700 3,700 coins there. And let's see here. I am shocked that that is the return that we got. Unless there's an inform! <laughs> QEA. Wow. There's no one I can sell. Is there? Is there? There's not a single person I can sell. Kolarov, he might sell for a thousand coins or something like that. So get to the final of the foot draft and make barely... Barely 8,000 coins in return. Let me know if the FUD draft is worth in the comments down below. If you still enjoyed this relatively salty episode, smash the like button. Again, these videos take a long time to produce. I know you may think they don't, but they take a long time to put together. So hopefully you show that the support I think this series deserves. And we'll catch you on the flip side. God, am I ever salty. Peace!